welcome back. If you're new here, I'm Jessica and welcome to the Retro Farmhouse. Today I wanted to do a project from the Dollar Tree of a item that I've been inspired to have and hopefully one day I'll be able to own. But I thought these vintage milk jugs that you see, um, sometimes people use them as planters or just a little stand to put something on. I wanted to try to recreate this out of Dollar Tree items. So hope you guys uh, are inspired to create this yourselves and let's get into the video. Okay, so the supplies that I'm using today from the Dollar Tree is this canister. Um, you're also gonna keep the lid, so set that aside for later. And then we're gonna use this dog bowl. I think it's the medium sized one and whatever was next up from the smallest one um, is the one you're gonna wanna get. And then the other item is this little flame. I don't really know what you use this for. It says for heating food or you can also use for outdoor use. We're gonna use this as well. And then to make my handles, I'm just using this leftover aluminum tray that we had made from a previous project. If you're interested in that project, it's uh, gonna be linked at the end of the video. I'm using my white Waverly chalk paint and then my antique white in apple barrel. And I'm gonna mix these together to make a cream collar consistency. Next, I'm gonna paint my canister uh, with one coat of paint, and I'm also gonna apply one coat to the other items as well. I believe the canister, I had to end up applying two coats just to have good coverage. I'm also going to paint the lid with a generous coat and also I painted a little bit on the inside of the lid as well. To make my handles, I'm just going to cut some extra pieces off of this aluminum tray that I got from the Dollar Tree, and I'm just going to cut two strips um, to use for later. I'm also going to take my paint and paint on both sides of these. I believe I did about two coats. Next, I'm gonna use my paint in brown oxide and I'm gonna use my chip brush to just do a little bit of distressing. I like these brushes because they are more stiffer brushes and they just provide a better look. Um, but really, you can do this with any type of brush that you have. I just recommend using a smaller amount at first and then you can always apply it heavier if you want a more desired look.
Next, I'm gonna take my Dollar Tree stickers and I'm gonna put the number one on here. I'm just gonna put the N and I didn't have any numbers, so a little trick that I will tell you you can do, if you're just looking to put the one on, just take the I and as you see me doing here, I'm gonna be cutting off the top part to create the one. And I just applied that to the side of our canister. Now to assemble this piece, I'm just gonna take my dog bowl and place it over the top of the canister and secure it down with some hot glue. Next, you're gonna place a generous amount of hot glue and then place the little candle thing, which I meant to uh, mention, I emptied this out of its fluids and everything um, and cleaned it out really good. So just make sure you do that because you don't want anything flammable left in this. Um, after that, I placed my top one with a generous amount of hot glue and let it dry. Now I'm going to place my handles on each side and secure this with hot glue as well. Lastly, I'm just going to put some Mod Podge all over um, my canister in the top. I like to do this because if you're painting any type of paints on a plastic or metal surface, sometimes they will tend to scratch off and the Mod Podge will help put a protective layer on there so that doesn't happen. this project turned out. I really think this is in one of my top fives of my Dollar Tree uh, DIYs that I've done so far. I just love this little milk canister. Um, you can really paint it in any type of color that you want and it's a really nice decor piece in uh, any place in your house. And that's it guys. I hope you enjoyed today's video. If you did, please hit the like button as well as the subscribe button and the notification button. And I would love to hear from you guys in the comments section about your inspiration for this project and would just uh, comment and say hello. So thank you all again and have a great day.